Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good and I don't believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of GBP, JPY and what to expect from the market this week. In case you just come across our videos, in case you just come across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, let's say a bit about what happened in the market last week. When we did our last analysis, the market was here and we did say that we expect GBP, JPY to sell. But before we will consider a sell, we would like to see this region broken. And you can see on, this was Monday, Tuesday, and the market sold a bit, but this region was not broken. And on Wednesday, we had this bullish move and it came back to retest this region. Now let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, we can see GBP, JPY has been buying quite um, for a while now. And it bought from here up to this region and on this region. And we did say that this is a resistance region. And of course, from here, we have been expecting the market to sell. But we have seen strong bullish contention. So um, the market finally sold significantly last month. You can see this was the month of December. And um, this is the month of January, which only one week had been completed. And you can see this strong bullish rejection. Then also notice the RSI, it had gotten to the overbought region and we say whenever the market gets to the overbought region, we should start looking out for selling opportunities. Now let's consider the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, you can see the market bought um, from here up to this region and at this region, we can see the market has been ranging for a couple of months now. Um, we had this huge sell. Um, that was last month and it got to this region and we marked this region which we said we've been expecting it to be broken so until this region is broken we can't comfortably take a sell so last week we had the market close as a healthy bullish candle then let's consider the daily time frame on the daily time frame you can see after the market made a double top here it sold quite significantly got to this region now since i think got here in the month of november and after that, we've had the market range here for a, a couple of weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks that's been ranging around this region. It will buy up to this region. You can see it retested this region and sold back and bought again to this region, sold back. So we can see it has been ranging around this region. Then look at the four hours time frame. Let's consider the four hours time frame. On the four hours time frame, we can see the market has been ranging around here. Let me extend this. So you can see the market has been ranging around this support and resistance region. And last week, the market closed as a bearish candle at this resistance region. You can see it bought from here up to this region. So it closed as a an evening star. When we put this three together, we'll call this an evening star, which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern. So that's what happened in the market last week. What do we expect from the market this week? Firstly, on the four hours, time, four hours time frame, we have the market close as an evening star at the resistance region, which, and okay, let's start this way. An evening star, which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern, it is occurring at a resistance region, which gives us reasons to sell. And we can see also on the four hours time frame that the RS has gotten to the overbought region. So, and we've said whenever the market gets to the overbought region, we should start looking forward for selling opportunities and right now we have seen a selling opportunity so it proposes a sell then on the daily time frame we can see pay attention this is very critical we can see the market bought from this support region back to this resistance region and the candlestick the last candlestick on last week which was on friday 
was a bullish candle with a long upper wick, which shows the presence of the bulls, but um, strong bearish rejection. So in this candle, we can say we have um, activities of both the bulls and the bears. So for that reason, we expect to see activities of both the bulls and the bears in the next candle. So this this strong bearish rejection is occurring after the market has gotten to this resistance region. Follow me. This is very important. Then on the weekly time frame, we had the market close as a healthy bullish candle. Now, when we consider it with the previous candle, we'll call this a bullish engulfing bar, which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern. Now, when we look at the weekly time frame, it is giving us a buy signal. When we look at the four hours time frame, it is giving us a sell signal. And when we look at the daily time frame, it is showing us that it had already started buying and at the moment the bears are coming in. So this is how I think the market will play out this week. Pay attention and watch this. Watch this carefully. Now, on the four hours time frame, remember we said that the market made an evening star on yeah, an evening star having got to this resistance region. So that's a bearish reversal candlestick pattern. This is what I think. When the market opens, it will sell. It will certainly sell. Now, there are two ways it's likely to play out. Number one, pay attention. If we see the market sell and get to this region, let me mark that region. Look at the four hours time frame. If we see the market sell and get to this region, by then it should come in contact with the 10-day simple moving average on the daily time frame. You can see that here. So when it gets to this region, if we see it make a bullish reversal candlestick pattern here, we should consider a buy. So that will mean the market bought up to this region, got back and retested this region, they made a bullish reversal candlestick pattern, and we at this time, we will expect a buy, a strong bullish move, and it will break this region, to break this region, and it should come to this other region. That if it makes a bullish reversal candlestick pattern around here, but if it sells and exceed this region and come here, then we will take our, we will take our profits here and watch the market to see if it will break this region. So if it breaks this support and um, retests this region and make a bearish reversal candlestick pattern, then we'll be sure that a, a strong bearish move has started. So this is how I advise you to trade. When you take your sell after the market opens, you should target this region. That's my recommendation. You target this region when you take your sell from here. This should be your TP. Now, if the market gets here and stops selling, then makes a bearish reversal candlestick pattern, you can close and take the existing profit. But if it sells down, it will trigger your TP and you'll still be in profit. But the critical part is what will happen afterwards. So like I've said, if it sells down to this region, we will be looking forward to it breaking this region and make a, and retest this region, then make a bearish reversal candlestick pattern, we'll take a sell. Then, if it doesn't get to this region, it stops here and make a bullish reversal candlestick pattern, then we'll consider a buy and this should be a TP. So that's what we're expecting from the market this week. If you have a different opinion, you can use the comment section. If you have any question, you can also use the comment section. I'll be glad to have a conversation with you. Like we always say, trading is a highly risky endeavor. You don't venture into trading without proper knowledge. If you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading, you don't take this trade. You can watch this video for educational purpose and it's going to serve you better than risking your heart and money something you don't fully understand. If you want to get our Forex course, which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market, it has 30 videos and 3 ebooks, including my book Trading Without Tears. Check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get the Forex course. I strongly recommend this course for anybody who's just starting out in the Forex space or anyone who is yet to find his way around the Forex market. And if you want to subscribe for a signal service, we'll give proper entry, stop loss, and take profit. 
check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can subscribe for signal service and if you want to get a copy of my book trading with Alex yes check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get a soft copy if you want a hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles you can find our social media handles in the description of this video tell us your location we'll tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed you'll have the book delivered to you so that's it from us on this video i hope you got value see you in the next video bye for now